Welcome back, my friends. We're going to go through uh, the final steps of the Logos Workflow Bible Study uh, on Logos 8 Basic. Um, I may skip some more steps uh, because, well, alright, let's continue. So we were able to skip step three, um, and I I did some work on step four, but it's not major. Now, now you get to the point where you have to write something. You have to summarize the passage. Uh, Summarize the passage. Probably give the main points of the passage. Um, so I looked at some of my main points in the uh, previous uh, steps. And I noticed that I had four. Uh, so where was it at? <laughs> Well, anyway, there was four points. I can't find them now. Well, don't worry. Now, this is what I wrote. I remember the story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19, 9-12. God can manifest or reveal his presence in many ways. Um, in any way he chooses. These men and women were praying and fasting to experience God's presence. They humbled themselves and worshiped God in spirit and truth. I need to be more humble. This is application. You're supposed to put this in other steps, but I felt like I could do it here. Uh, so basically, this is how I applied it. And you move along. To the next step here. Uh, you can continue that. Uh, then step five is done. And then review commentaries if you need to. Uh, like a faith life commentary. It looks like they have that. Um, let me open it up. Okay. Five. This is what it would look like. And if you'd read it, you'd kind of just read it to figure out this is where you stand on this verse, if you agree with it or not. Usually, um, they're pretty good. Uh, but sometimes you don't have to agree with them totally. That's the thing about commentaries. I think that you should read them last. Or they should be toward the end of your Bible study. Um, unless you're totally clueless as to what it really means. Then maybe you should check them out a little sooner. But then there is a clueless fact factor to the Bible also. So, you know, there are some things that are going to be remaining a mystery until uh, we go to Jesus. All right, so that's what that looks like. I wonder if there's a way you can cancel that. Um, oh, and it would say, uh, record any insights that you learn from the commentaries. And if not, let's continue, which I'm just going to skip it because I'm not going to do commentaries. Uh, but that's basically what you would do. You'd read it and you'd put your thoughts there let's uh now let's see now step number seven is determining your passage theological principles um the meaning of the passage will be applied differently apply it we must understand it's theological principles. Okay, let's see. Such as 
the baptism of the Holy Spirit, breath, uh, those sort of things. Um, these are the ones that are coming up, you know. They're related, so this this uh, verse is related to a lot of these topics. I wonder if I could click on, like, hold on. Click on this one, let's say. And then it would give me a synopsis of what it means. And then it would take you through uh, the scriptural foundation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Which is pretty cool. I like this. Um, a lot of kids need these. Uh, needs this, uh, this type of tool. Uh, I mean, it's really cool. So, how do we get out of here? Okay. Oh, yeah, just scroll down until you get to the bottom. And then skip it. I think it's cool. And then, apply the passage yourself. Um, it's going to ask several questions. About, you know, some of the stuff that you learned. And then you could skip that too. <laughs> this would take forever. Do you understand that? If I went through and listed every little thing I could think of. What spiritual struggles are addressed in this passage? Either directly or indirectly. Luckily it's just one verse. Uh, skip. <laughs> Share your insights of your Bible study. Um, and then your message. So basically, this kind of helps you write a sermon, too, in a way. This is crazy. It does a lot of stuff I, there's a lot of things that the free version of this workflow has that I liked. Um, so, so. And there's some stuff that it doesn't have, but you can always work around it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, workflow. You have a great day.